Well, howdy ho there, folks. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing absolute peachy keen fantastic. This is Dawn of War Dark Crusade, but now we have Titanium Wars installed. Uh, I had it installed, I had this one installed before the No Limits version of the mod. Uh, I'm not going to play the campaign with that because I tend to break things. Uh, one of the things you're going to notice first off uh, is that we now have way more options and options that you just straight up didn't have in uh, Dawn of War Dark Crusade before. You have the ones like you've seen before, the Howling Banshees and things like that. But now we also have, I just saw it, the Dire Avengers. We didn't have the Dire Avengers before. We didn't have the Jet Bikes before. We didn't have the extra Night Spinners. We have all kinds of extra options here. So that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, also things like the Scorpion, which you don't really see too often. Uh, this one doesn't add any factions, though. But it does add a ton of stuff for the orcs and everybody else. So I think that's pretty cool. So what are we doing here today? Uh, we're going to go ahead and play Dawn of War Dark Crusade campaign, as we have previously. Uh, but we're going to do... Well, we're going to stick to that. Uh, but we're going to do a different species this time. This time we're going to do orcs. Because I like orcs. And the only other option I kind of want to do is Tau. Uh, well, not the only option I'd want to do is Tau, but uh, we haven't actually seen the Tau uh, video thing yet, so we're going to go ahead and do it this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play through this, and I'm going to show you how it's a it's more than a little different. There's actually a bunch of things that it changes, but one thing I noticed, at least in Soulstorm, is giving the computers a bunch of different things that they have access to that they don't previously have access to can make them surprisingly difficult because they'll just start building way more junk that you wouldn't uh, that you wouldn't really expect normally. Um, you can also get these little grog gangs, which I think is kind of fun. But they, uh, cost, uh, points. Or they cost, uh, population points. So I don't really want to use this. Also, one thing you may notice is that, hey, that looks like... It's a way better zoom out, which is half the reason I installed this mod. Well, that and the extra options. See... I'm a big fan of Orkies, and I want to be able to see all my Orkies. I want to be able to see them all as they're running around doing cool guy things. Like, you know... All those cool weapons they like to have, and all of their big flashy bits. Not what I mean, Jimmy Dean. But we have to make sure that we have a constant supply of more boys, because otherwise if we don't have constant supply of more boys, the boys get sad. They need lots of friends to play with. And they also need lots of choppas to chop with. Yeah. Orcs are easily one of my favorite factions. I just really like... Uh... The big smash em type energy of orcs. I think that they're a lot of fun in that regard. Yeah, right, buddy. You better be. Yeah. But yeah, I, I really like my uh, silly orcs. I really like their choppas. I like their uh, kind of chaotic energy. Kind of chaotic energy. The uh, chaotic energy they got about him, they, their general disregard for uh, uh, their general disregard for rules and this sort of uh, anarchist type tendencies I tend to notice within them, which I think is pretty cool. They also have a very, I guess, I guess they're not actually anarchist tendencies. So, oaks, 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 oaks. 
I guess they're really anarchist tendency. They're more like uh, just kind of rebellious tendencies. And you got to like constantly prove that you're worthy to lead the wah. And if you're not worthy to lead the wah, then you don't get to lead the wah. And that neat. You got to you got to get all your worthiness up in there. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to get to lead anything because orcs respect uh, big gubbins and big stabbins and and doing and doing cool guy things with your um, abilities and we're getting to the point where we're capturing faster so it's good yeah, it is time to build stuff, little guys. And what we're going to do now... I don't... I think we're facing Tau, so we're going to have to get some choppa... Some good choppiness in there. Uh, you also gotta build. Oop. You gotta build more Hua banners so that uh, more orcs can be summoned to your wall. So. By main gaining cool orc abilities like being able to build more of you. Ah, uh, they're also like one of my favorites on the tabletop because I found that I really like that kind of a uh, what's it what's it called? There's like an ungabunga charge forward and smash things. I like I like the aggressive style of playing uh, on the tabletop. Is ready. Gonna make it nice and, strong. and by having more boys ready to go, we can easily get into the good old passion of what? You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get your wah on, my guy. You know, sometimes Griggy might tell you to get your Detroit on. I'm telling you to get your wah on. I won't kick you. I don't like that Orcs is talk about kicking you guys. I think it's rude. What's it? What's it? We're just gonna make it nice and strong. Yeah. But yeah, or Orcs are some of my favorites. I just really like them as a faction. I think they're a lot of fun. I also think that they're really good for uh, just like fun customization type stuff on the tabletop. And you can do a lot of stuff with orcs. You can have them be comedic. You can have them be kind of horrifying. Uh, since they're infantry. You can just set some dudes on fire. Right. But we need to make sure as well that our boys are also more, you know, dead killy. Oop, there we go. Hey, what are you guys doing? Come on. Get in there. Good 
Well, we probably don't. We probably don't need to quite put all of our boys right there yet. But now we get this, so we can do more DACA and more choppy type research. We're gonna make tougher lads, and by making tougher lads, we'll be able to do a better war. I would really say that um, orcs have just kind of won 40k if you think about it. It's a setting where everybody's perpetually at war. I mean, not sure who else, who else could possibly even. Oh yeah, that's kill them all, lads. Look at all the smashing we're doing. Isn't it great when you do a lot of smashing? Oh man. Aren't orcs also just like really fun? I think they're really fun. Of course we're going to a fight, lads. Where else would we be going? No. On the big boss. Well, that's good. I'm glad we have so many. I stole this over here from those imperial boys. That's not the greatest voice acting. It's okay. We're gonna build the biggest wa that anyone's ever wad. And then once we wa to the wa 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 wa, then all of the wa will be wa 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 wa. Wa. Know what I mean? Man, it's hard. It's hard to get orcs to not be constantly. Oh, that's man. They're they're certainly trying, but uh, it just it just ain't working out super well. But it's okay. We're gonna we're just gonna keep killing. Don't worry, little lad. I don't do no kicking. I love all the grots. Even though you're probably like, what? Why do you love grot? That's weird. You shouldn't be doing that. Stop it. <laughs> there, There is something very interesting about... Um, I also I love storm boys. Storm boys are great. I I just have I just have to for just a second gush about how fun storm boys are. What now? We's gonna make it nice and strong. Oh, look at all the boys we're already in charge of. Oh, man. I also love giving these guys power claws. Uh, so there's actually a fun thing you can do on tabletop where you have a whole group of knobs and you have them being led by a war boss. And then the you just equip... Uh, you equip the all the knobs with power claws and you give the war boss uh, follow me lads the one that gives uh, plus two their movement 
and it's it's really fun at least i've always found it really fun to use because it's just like you just have a bunch of like really choppy or dead hard boys you know going right into uh combat and it's it's uh i don't know it's just it's just a lot of fun <laughs> oh man, I love being with the boys. I stole this armor here from those imperial boys. I stole this armor here from those imperial boys. Oh, it's because I, I gave him an Ard knob leader and that that made that I was like why are they why do they have the bad voice acting they don't have the bad voice acting in the normal game I think oh that's not captured I'm kind of surprised by that Man, if I was these Pathfinders, I would I would not be happy to be in that situation where you're just gonna get you're gonna get stumped. Oh, don't worry, little guy. It's nothing too scary. Oh, I need more generators. build more a little lad don't worry the bigger boys will protect you that way you can't get hurt and then you probably still <laughs> gotta get the wa the wa truck let's see so what do we get Rocket Banner makes all rocket launches more effective in combat. Wait, well, let's see here. So we can do this to make. That thing's fighting us, so we're gonna go over there and smack it. A whack, a smack, a whack, whack, smack, a whack, a whack, whack, a whack, whack, smack. Time to build stuff. It's a brave little drone. That doesn't sound like shotguns. We'll do it. Ah oh, man. I got just what you need. This is my war trap. Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> it is pretty nice. It's a, it's a pretty good war, war truck, my dude. I'm glad you have it. You can provide the greatest of benefit to the war by having a cool truck by having a cool truck you're truly uh oh i 
I want all you lads to go over here. I'm not doing anything. We'll do it. Don't worry, lads. Just because you're. We'll get all kinds of people stuck in there. Uh, or... Nah, we don't need more knobs. We got we got everything we need right here, my guy. <laughs> I kind of like the flash gets get more and more uh, parody orky. Hey, go kill these guys. They're touching me, Gubbins. Now go kill these guys. Oh, they have uh... a. We'll Sounds kind of like they have uh... a. Go. No, we don't. Oh. Would you all focus on a target for like two seconds? Now, go blow this up, and then we'll go back in there and deal with some angry Tau Gubbins. Ooh, I want to build a Squigoth. You guys are killing me because it's like you won't. But you know, part of what's killing me is that these these boys like are like refusing to like focus on objectives they just like want to like Now go over there. We're under attack. Sure, the flash kits are still limited to two. Z, like you just hear. <laughs> we don't found as a tank. Uh, isn't there just something about the energy of orcs that is just kind of. Now, here's my question if I replace all these with scorches. Here, just go in here and destroy these things. Oh, 
Well, they're not getting away exactly. They're more like they're. <laughs> oh, I love flash kits. Let's see here. Let's make those squiggles more effective in combat, huh? <laughs> I want you to go go up over there so you can fight with the uh... Oh, let's see some here annihilate limit all enemies by destroying Yeah But what you might notice, um, oh, oh my gosh. But, um, by simply changing the objective to annihilate rather than destroy enemy HQ, it makes it a lot harder because basically what ends up happening is now it ends up getting dragged out more. Oh, of course. Is it? It. it, it what it really does more than anything is make it so that the can the combat lasts a lot longer which uh not necessarily the greatest i would say yeah rip off their skin huh uh i don't know that just to, i mean the Tao skin does not seem like you'd even make like that good of leather, if we're being honest here. Yeah. And what you may also notice is that it didn't say player defeated, and I think there's. What's a rubbing? What do you want? What can we do? And I think there's at least two on this map. So this is a a one difficulty map. Uh. Now, what this really means is that the combat ends up taking um a lot a lot longer to get through as you might imagine um it's not the biggest problem in the world but i would definitely say it gets a little a little more Annoying. Um, 
Touch me again, and I'll approach you. What's a rabbit? What are you waiting for? This is take forever. Imagine being in that devil fish when all this orkiness just comes right at you. Probably not a great time, honestly. And we's gonna smash some of the blueies. You can see we got um, a lot of lads here. Guy keeps talking about ripping off their skin, but you know. Yeah, I think there's just too many there at once. Let's do. Now, of course, the squiggles are also transports. But, uh... First of five wins! Storm boys, he's ready for a fight! I think that's... I think the Squigoth is kind of getting them stuck. Yeah, I think, I think they're all kind of stuck there. Now go over there and deal with the enemies that are actually attacking you. Okay, boss. They shooting us. That's more What's it? What's it? We'll do it. Build it right up for you. Yeah, I think this quick is just kind of made it. Boss, 
jump down and rip off their skin. That's kind of a funny line. Not really what I would expect from an orky type line, though. Lots of talk of ripping off the skin. That just feels like something that, uh, I don't know, Drukari. I guess Drukari come to mind. He's gonna make it nice and strong. More easy. Our foots are rubbing. We're under attack. Hmm. Ooh, we have a nice little uh, first base to strike from in the future. Now what, I, what I'm really sincerely hoping is that there's not just going to be like Time to build stuff. a bunch of um, we'll do it. Please, no more kicking. Time to build stuff. Then we're not going to well, because so we already know that there's something that's uh, not. I'm assuming like over here somewhere It seems that they still got a bunch of Junk that they have to deploy or to build stuff is what I should say Yeah, see they they got stuff all over the place That's still building Is there a reason you guys are not moving? What the heck is going on here? You. Uh oh. Seems like the boss has a bit of a... When are we gonna kill something? Uh, soon, probably. But yeah, you can kind of see how this would make it a little bit more, um, long, I guess, is one way to phrase it. Now here's the question, did they just... Did they go back in here and start rebuilding? Or... I actually don't even really... No, where else? Yeah, I'm assuming somewhere okay. over there. Oh, well, there's a thing that's capable of building. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, I love my orcs. Orcs are fav favorite. 
in a universe that takes itself incredibly seriously but is at the same time very um silly i think that orcs orcs are really good for just having oh there we go for just having a nice light-hearted time for getting some big fun boys in there best of legs increases okay yeah I would like it if you were a little bit. Okay, they just put. <laughs> That's funny. They just they just put some red panels on his legs, and because red ones go faster, it increases his speed. Oh man, nice. Ah, uh, that's how you know it's gonna be good because Orcs is, is the biggest and the strongest. In case you didn't know, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this little intro. From here, we're gonna do similar to what we did last time, which is just. We're going to go through the strongholds uh, and smash them and crush them real good as orkies. And uh, yeah, I hope that you all have a great one. And I hope that you know that I love you and God loves you. And bye bye, I love you, bye. Also, remember to use your inner wah power to be a cool person. Yeah. Okay, bye, I love you, bye.